I'm gonna be telling you guys a story time of how I broke my freaking neck because everybody was asking me how because how the fuck but and I couldn't explain it but you know people want to twist my story just kidding okay sorry I'm about to have to eat with my fucking fingers because Bitch, don't want to give me no fucking ranch. And I had to go to the store right now to get a new SD card, but whatever. Nobody cares. I know. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys. Uh, this all started. It was a Friday or was it Saturday? Mm -mm. It was a Saturday. Well, on Friday, I went to my family's house because they were having mm, topaz. And so I had already known about this for like a while back. Like this girl was like, hey, do you want to come with me to my cousin's 21st birthday? It's going to be like food and like whatever. It's not going to be like a big party or anything. And I told her yes. Eh. And then. My cousin had invited me to San Francisco that same day. I was like, fuck. And so, <clears throat> I was like, mm, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I already told this girl yes. Whatever. I was like, whatever. I already told her yes. I'm just going to go with her. Um, this shit bust. <laughs> and then, so... I hit her up. I, I remember I went to go get my nails done that day. I was looking so fucking cute. But anyways. Ew. I go home, get ready. I knew it was going to be a bad day. Because I could not put my fucking eyelashes on for the fucking life of me. Like, literally could not. So, we're going to the fucking party or whatever. Not a party. It was like a little kickback, you know. She was like, it's in Santa Rosa, I'll drive. I was like, okay, whatever. I'm like, good. Whatever, we go over there. I remember we're passing by the church. I get this gut ass feeling. It was like, I thought I was gonna die that night, like dead ass. But I used to always get this really weird anxiety about dying, like all the time for some summer. I stopped going out because, like, every time that I would go out, I thought I was gonna die. Like, I don't know, I just got, like, really bad anxiety that I was gonna fucking die. And so, when I got that anxiety, I didn't really think much of it. Just because I was like, fuck, I always used to get this weird anxiety. And, like, I stopped going out because of it. We're already on our way there, though. It's not, like, much I could do. Like, hey, take me home right the fuck now. You know? I already had said, yeah, she had gone to pick me up. And so when we're passing by the church, it was just like this gut-ass, bad-ass fucking feeling. I remember I sat there at my persine, I started to pray. And I was like, God, please. Like, I remember my mom had gotten me taco truck that day. And so I was like, God, please don't let anything happen to me. My mom got me food. Like, I don't want it to be like, oh, I fucking die tonight. And my mom's just looking at the taco truck like, look, I was supposed to fucking, she, I got her this and like, you know? I don't know. And so, I sat there and I prayed. And I was like, okay, whatever, like, rub, get this, like, bad feeling out of me. We started, like, listening to music. We are like, chilling. Driving over there. And whatever, we get there. And the guy's like, hey, do you want to take a shot? And I was like, fuck it. How am I going to say no to somebody's birthday? I wouldn't say no anyways, but <laughs> anyway, we took a shot, we're chilling, whatever. It gets close to the time that we're like leaving. It was like 11 or 12. We're driving back. I don't know why. I literally do not know why. Like, but we came back through Bennett Valley and I literally don't know why. Because it was like late at night, you know, like there was no cars passing by the fucking regular I don't know if you guys don't know what Bennett Valley is, which I'm sure you fucking do, but I'll put a picture of what the road fucking looks like. 
it's this windy ass fucking road hella fucking curves i hate that road i hate it so much i unless i'm like really like feeling the fucking vibe and it's like right there that's the only way i'll go through bennett valley i'd rather it take a longer time to go through the actual road than to go through bennett valley because i fucking hate it and i'm always driving slow as fuck through there don't give a fuck but um we're coming back this is what has me fucked up you know we're coming back we're jamming out listening to fucking sweetie i remember we were like listening to fucking sweetie and shit <clears throat> all of a sudden dude i remember seeing the car fucking moving hella fucking fast when it was spinning out and i don't know she lost control so when it was my fault so when i took said fucking raquel take the fucking wheel this is why i don't fuck with people and if you're speaking on my fucking car accident that's fucked up you weren't there you don't fucking know i have a video which this girl said you have a video of when the car accident was about to happen you took off your seatbelt which first of all maybe me lo moví like down under my armpit but i never take off my seatbelt ever in my fucking life because when i was like hella little one of my cousins passed away because he didn't have a seatbelt on you can ask any of my fucking ex-boyfriends anytime we're fucking driving or anybody in general i'm like put your fucking seatbelt on one of my ex-boyfriends hated having his fucking seatbelt on it would be beeping all fucking day long and i'd be like put on your seatbelt put on your seatbelt put on your seatbelt my cousin died from a car accident put on your fucking seatbelt I like, just put that shit on, you know? But she says, I took off my seatbelt. And that we I was taking a video. And that I moved in the video to get her in it. And that then, that's what caused the car accident. And I have the video. But I'm not going to fucking post it because I already sent it to the insurance. And we're still in a whole fucking deal with their fucking insurance. This whole bullshit, literally bullshit. And the video ends because I ended it. It doesn't end because a fucking car accident started happening. You can see she took a fucking sharp turn. I'm a hundred and fucking like 20 pounds. If you're going hella fucking fast and you fucking turn, I'm a fucking move. Regardless if I have my seat on, regardless if I'm like, I'm still gonna move. Like, Bitch, it doesn't work like that. I didn't fucking So if you want to blame me, you can go ahead and blame me. But when I got out of the hospital, I wasn't blaming anybody. So That's what has me fucked up. Like I was never like on some fuck this bitch Like she fucking I broke my neck because of her because I was never fucking blaming shit But if you want to start pointing fingers at me Bitch, what the fuck? That's what has me fucked up for real and whatever the fucking car accident that's not what caused the car accident if that's what you want to say that because the video shows yes i did move and then afterwards you kept fucking driving so that's not what caused the car accident but to each their own you know whatever anybody wants to say and so whatever the car fucking flips and i'm like i knocked out because i hit myself on the fucking I don't know what the fuck I hit my head on, but I fucking hit my head. It was probably my water bottle because it's dented as fuck now. But I hit my head hella fucking hard. I knocked out. And you know what? I'm not asking for anybody to look out for me. But you got out through my fucking side. The car was flipped. I was backwards. And you were like, get out. And I couldn't fucking move. You went in front of me. The car is flipped. I'm fucking backwards with my neck fucking broken. And you're walking on me to get out the fucking car. So if you want to talk about all this bullshit include that in there you know instead of saying oh i dragged her out the car you didn't drag me out the car you told me that if i didn't get out that the car was gonna blow up knowing the shit that had just fucking happened obviously i'm gonna fucking get out the car at that point i could not get out though i get out i'm crawling and i there's a tree ahead and i go and i sit myself up against the tree i'm having a fucking panic attack she's doing some other shit which i'm not even and asks for my phone to fucking 
call the police, so I give it to her. Then I call my mom, and the area is kind of, I'm like sitting there, fucking barbecue sauce on my titties. But for real, I'm sitting there like having a fucking anxiety attack, just like, somebody came up to me, and because a car came up, and they were like, are you okay, are you okay? And I was like, literally, could not fucking speak. Like, I don't know. And then, whatever, the ambulance gets there at that point. Once I got into the ambulance, I did go on Instagram Live. I'm not gonna fucking lie to you. I went on Instagram Live because I knew that I was fine at that point. If anything is wrong with me, bitch, it's already done. Done with. I'm in the ambulance now. They're gonna help me. I'm not gonna fucking die. So that's when I was like, okay, it's fucking game time. I'm about to fucking shine bright like a fucking diamond. And I don't know. So yeah. I went on Instagram Live. Kill me. Fuck. And I'm like in the hospital, chilling. Um. Oh my god, somebody just winked at me. Anyways, get out of the hospital. Um, when I was in the hospital, like when I, the next morning, because that whole night they were just taking x rays and stuff, and then they let me sleep for a while. The morning, my phone was dead, my mom's phone was dead. So, and they were telling her we might keep her here for a few days just to make sure she doesn't need surgery and shit. But, uh, so they transferred me into a room. I was by myself at that point. Hella had to pee so fucking bad. I had one of those things in me. I don't know what it's called, it's catheter. It was like, so I could fucking pee. And that shit was not on right. I fucking peed the bed. Yeah. It was embarrassing. I told them though. I was like, I don't think it's all right. I can feel it. So my fucking, yeah. I, I knew it wasn't all right. I fucking peed the bed. I'm sorry. That's embarrassing, but I had a broken neck. I couldn't get up. Anyways, then I tell them and they're like, oh, we're just going to take it off. Just let us know when you have to go to the bathroom. I'm pressing the fucking nurses thing. Like, I have to go to the bathroom. I have to go to the bathroom. They're like, we're coming. And I was like, and I'm really fucking thirsty. I need water. And they didn't want to give me water at first because they didn't know if I was going to need surgery. But then they told me it was fine and I could go home. So I was like, bring me fucking water. Call my mom. Like, I just had a couple of demands. I said, bring me water. I need to go to the bathroom. And can you call my mom to come and pick me up? And then they were like, yeah, we'll be here in a second. 30 minutes passed. I'm like, bro. Press the nurse's button again. It, this happened like five fucking times. Until the last fucking one, I was like, you know what? I've been calling every 30 minutes. You guys have still not come with the water. You guys have still not let me use the bathroom. And nobody has called my mom. So just call my mom. I want to leave now. And then they came. But you really... Bitch, I was laying there with my fucking neck broken. And I literally started crying because it was like, I was laying there, I couldn't fucking move. Like, if anything, I would have gotten my ass up. I would have gone to the bathroom by myself. Drank some fucking, I was so thirsty. But, yeah, then they finally let me go to the bathroom. I literally drank water and then I almost threw up the water because they had hella fucking, like, medicine in me. I don't know. And, ooh, it was so weird when they were doing the x-rays. They would put this thing in my IV and it would make me so hot. Like, I just fucking popped the molly. And then they were like, oh, yeah, it's because we need to see all of your nerves or whatever. I was like, cool. Then that shit would wear off and I was like freezing fucking cold. That shit was scary and I had to do it two times because they did two x-rays that night. Like at nighttime and then in the morning. Yeah. It was crazy. Eh, whatever. Now I get to go home. I'm like getting out of the hospital. I'm like, they're pushing me into the waiting room. I'm like, oh, is my mom here? And they're like, no, but she's on her way. So you can just wait there. I was in the fucking waiting room with the fucking wheelchair. With a neck brace. Just sitting there. I was so mad. So I just walked out. I was like, fuck this shit. And I left. And I was walking around the parking lot. <laughs> looking like a fucking homeless person. With my hair in a fucking big ass bun. And then I see my mom. And she takes me home. My friends fucking call me. Oh, my cousin fucking calls me. And she's like, hey, I just want you to know this girl is saying, oh, I'm gonna fucking, I don't care, it's fine. I'm gonna get a fucking Hellcat with the insurance money. At that point, 
I was like, uh, 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 I have a broken neck, bitch. And you're really worried about the, a car and the insurance money? Really? Be fucking thankful I didn't fucking die. Well, I guess you wouldn't give a fuck, but you know what? Whatever. That's why I'm mad. I would not even blame nobody. Then this girl was like, can me and my mom go talk to your mom? I'm like, what do you guys need to talk to my mom for? My grandpa, by the way, was in the hospital before he died. Rest in peace. Before he was in the hospital, he was in the hospital at that time. She's like, can we come and talk to your mom? I'm like, why do you need to talk to my mom? Like, it was just us two in the car, miss girl. It was not my mom in the back seat jamming out with your mom. Like, why do you, why do they need to talk? You know? And what is there to talk about, bitch? My neck is broken. What else is there to do? Like, I don't give a fuck. My mom is in the hospital with my grandpa because he's dying. She's like, yeah, I know how that is, but, like, we really want to talk to her. They came to my house. Either way. And she's like, this, this, and that. Shit that's not anybody else's business. But, talking to me, I was like, bro, what the fuck? And then I just cut shit off because I heard what the fuck people were saying not people I heard what the fuck she was saying and you think I didn't hear I fucking heard everything that you fucking said about me so period and I've heard everything else that other people have said about the car accident so lovely uh, but I just want you guys to know that I really realized who my fucking friends were throughout this because who my friends were without throughout all of this because like there's people well, they were texting me all the time like are you okay how have you been like just weekly you know how how are you doing and i never asked for anybody to be like oh please fucking keep an eye on me this whole fucking time you know but it was really nice touched me right there in my cold little heart and like even people who i would not have expected and it was very sweet and i really appreciated it so yeah life is a fucking trip <clears throat> if you saw my live stream video though let me know what was your favorite part when i was telling the fucking ambulance people that i thought i had hypertension if you don't know what that is i will enlighten you hypertension is high blood pressure period <laughs> y'all think i should go back to school let me know okay i'm sorry if i went like mm -mm -mm -mm. and then if maybe i didn't explain it right if you have any questions, drop it down below. I literally ate two wings this whole time. So yeah, I'm gonna eat them. But yeah, it was crazy. I'm gonna go home and wash my fucking clothes. Okay. But yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and turn your post notifications on if you'd like to be notified every time i post a new video bitch i fucking hit how many subscribers like 310 remember when i was fucking crying over 90 subscribers mm -hmm. one of my videos hit 24,000 views i was like what the fuck bitch i'm famous hit me up for a meet and greet okay